Hello everyone, this is I'm Rinchen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good and this is the second video in my HTML tutorial series. In this tutorial you will learn a few more HTML tags. So before we start our lesson I want to repeat a few things. If you want access to my source code and lesson plans, you can visit my GitHub account. The link will be in the description below. And Visit my blog because there will be new posts soon. It will be really fun to read. The link will also be in the description below. Now, before we jump into today's topic, let's revisit what we learned last time. Last time, we introduced ourselves to HTML. Then, we learned what a text editor is. After that, we coded a few tags. We learned how to write a heading how to, and how to write a paragraph. So jumping into today's topic, the first tag you will learn is the AHREF tag. The AHREF tag basically puts a link on your website which leads to another website. So how you do that is first type A, then HREF, equal to sign and quotation marks. In between these quotation marks, you put the link on the website of the website you want to link it on. So I'll link my website with google.com. I will um wait. I will copy I'll copy google.com's link and then paste it between the quotation mark. After that, you have to end A. So, then let us think. Do you want your website to show the link itself or do you want your website to show the letter and when you click on the letter, it will lead you to the website? I would obviously want a letter. So, how you do that is by typing something in between this bracket and then it will display on the website. So, I will say... So now let's save it and run it and let's see if it works or not. Run and launch Chrome. See? Mm -hmm. We do have a click here button over here. So let's see if it leads us to google.com or not. It does lead us to google.com, so which means that we have executed the code well. So it's time to jump into our next tag, which is the IMG tag. The IMG tag is to put an image in your website. So you use the IMG and the SRC tag. IMG stands for image and SRC stands for source. So quotation, quotation mark and in between the quotation mark, you put the link of your image. I have a link of an image over here. So I'll copy this link and paste it and paste it between the quotation mark. Now let's save it and run it. So let's see if we have a picture on our website or not. We do have a picture on our website, but the problem is the picture is too big. We want the picture to be half its size. We don't want it to be this big. So now how you customize your image or how you make it smaller or bigger is by using the height and width tag. So after the quotation mark, you can type height and equal to sign quotation mark. And you can... Um, Customize your image however you want. So I'll make it 300 pixels high, and then I'll uh, use the width tag, and then I'll make it 200 pixels as well. So let's save it and run it, and let's see if our image became any smaller. It did become small, but I didn't. Even, I didn't imagine it to be this small. But anyways, you know how to customize a image now. So let's jump into our next tag, which is the ordered list and the in unordered list. So ordered list is the list where you have the one, two, three, four list, the one, two, three, four list, and the unordered list is the bulleted list, the black dot list. So let's see how to make a ordered list first. So O L, you use the tag no, or unordered list U L. So then let's end U L. In between these, we, have, we can uh, put whatever we want on our list by using the tag li. So, let's say we're <clears throat> let's say we're making a menu for a drink for drinks. Let's say we're making a drink menu, drinks menu. So, uh, let's say coffee, right? And then mm, uh, let's say we want. Tea. And all right, 
Alright, so we have three drinks. Now let's see if it works or not. So let's save it and then let's run it. Now we do have a unordered list over here. So which means that we our coding worked. So now we, let's see how to make a ordered list. You use the tag OL instead of UL. So let's close OL and then and then we have to we still have to use the um, li li tag between this. So let's say now we're making a mm -hmm, a fast food menu. So li let's say pizza, right? pizza, and then let's say right? then li let's say ah uh, what a fast food is there French fries. Let's say French fries. So let's say French fries, and okay. now let's see if our if our coding works or not. So let's save it and then let's run it. Now we have an unordered list as well as a ordered list. So that is all I have to teach you guys for today. And today. We learned how to put a link on your website, we learned how to put an image on your website and also how to customize that image, how to make it bigger or how to make it smaller. Then we learned how to create an, an ordered list and also how to create an ordered list. So that's all for today and I don't have a specific homework for today. I just want you guys to practice the tags I taught you guys today and that is all for today. I will see you guys in the next lesson.